welcome everybody. Um, my name is Cheryl Marcello and I am the Director of International Programs here at Austin College. Um, and so really all of that <laughs> means that if you are interested, if you are a student who is interested in having some kind of, you know, international experience while you're here at the college, I am that person to talk to. And so today I'm going to specifically talk to you about Austin College Jan term. Um, and I titled this as Campus and Beyond simply because Jan term is not just, you know, um, one type of experience, but really it's a whole different kind, um, whole different ways of experiencing the month of January on our campus. Um, and so before we get started, um, just a quick note, if you have questions, please, please ask them. Um, I'd love to answer your questions. Um, make sure to use the chat function to ask ask your questions and then at the end we'll we'll have some time to answer them. Um, Madison over here um, is going to be helping me with those questions so just make sure. Um, hi Madison, um, if you have questions put them in the chat box. All right, so um, like I said, for those of you who, who may have heard about Janturn before, um, great. So this is a good maybe refresher for you. But for those of you who don't know what Janturn is, and specifically, what is Janturn, right? Um, what is Janturn at Austin College? Um, and so here at Austin College, it's really, really one of the distinctive signature parts of, of our campus life um, in January. And so in the period of January, about three to four weeks, um, it is an opportunity for you to learn something new, um, something unique, right? Um, it's a different way to learn outside of your field of study, right? And so regardless, right, of what major or minor or whatever field you're interested in, right, there are new ways of learning um, skills, right? New ways of learning, um, new knowledge that may be applicable to what you're studying, but just in a very different way. Um, and so it is one of the kind of the, like I said, one of the signature ways that we um, have students learn. Um, and part of that, right, is the applied learning experience. Um, and so this model, right, the applied learning experience is a way for you to get hands on experience in the real world, right? You take what you learn in the classroom and then you take it outside, right? And, and apply the skills, apply that knowledge, right? Um, and so Janterm is a part of that. And today, specifically, I'm going to talk to you about three types of gene terms that we offer on campus um, at the college, right? And so we have on campus gene terms, we have travel gene terms, and then we have career study off campus, or as we like to shorten it, CSOC. And so I'm going to go into detail into each of these three. And then, like I said, feel free to ask me any questions in the chat um, if you have any as we go along. So the first step on our list is the on-campus Jan term, right? So again, this is a period in January, three to four weeks where you take a course, right? And it's supposed to be interdisciplinary. What exactly does that mean, right? Interdisciplinary just means that regardless, right, of of the field that you're interested in, regardless of the kind of, uh, regardless of the kind of study that you are intending to major or minor in, these are courses that are inclusive of all of our students, right? This is a class, this is a course where you can take what you learn during this course and take it to whatever field um, that you are going to go into. Um, and what's great about this is that it's part of your fall tuition, right? It's not necessarily an additional cost to you. It's already part of what you pay for in the fall. And these courses, right, these courses are unique, right? They, like I said, they take you out of your usual classes. So if you are a chemistry student, right, it takes you out of the mindset of, of the all of the chemistry things that I'm not going to pretend that I know anything about um, during the academic year and really kind of puts you in a 
quirky, quirky course, right, that helps you think about things a little bit differently. And so just to give you some examples of what some of those courses have been in the past, um, we have things like, we have a course called Monstrous Japan, right? And this course is taught by our East Asian study, one of our East Asian studies faculty members, right? So if you are interested in pop culture of Japan, if you are interested in comics and art, right? Things of that nature. This particular course takes the characters, the, the, the evil, the, the spirits, the, the monster characters that you see in, in Japanese animation, in Japanese stories, right? Um, in pop culture and takes an takes an, an examination of those into its history, right? Into how is it how is it portrayed in Japan, right? How do you see it um, in, in pop culture? Um, and so it really is um, a, a unique, a unique course. Another course that we have um, is ethnomusicology, right? And it, it may sound like such a big word, but really all that means is that you take music from around the world and examine it and the ways that it that each of them is tied to culture, right? How does that music affect the culture and vice versa, right? How is that music important within that culture? Um, and so it's a great way of, of taking a look at, at music Right, and it's a good intro introduction to maybe the field of psych of, of anthropology, right? Um, and actually, that course is taught by um, an anthropology professor here. Another one, um, another course that's that has been available is called MythBust. You can do it too, and so you might already um, kind of. Uh, guess that this is this course is meant to teach you how to myth bust yourself, right? If you've ever seen the that popular show MythBusters, where they kind of um, where they kind of prove or disprove um, something that is widely believed, right? Um, and so with MythBust, you can do it too, which is taught by a chemistry professor. You can learn how to MythBust yourself, right? How do you experiment um, on your uh, by yourself um, and communicate your findings, right, to the general public so that it's understandable? Um, another course is called Beginning Ballet, right? So this is, you know, if, if you have ever been maybe interested in, in taking ballet, right? Um, this actually is a course that's taught by our by a history professor, right? And so it doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, because it's a history professor, she's going to, you know, she's going to talk, uh, she's going to teach a history course, right? So our professors, just like you have so many different interests and expertise, and this history professor happens to um, also uh, dance ballet. And so if you are interested in taking ballet, there is a course on ballet. Um, there's also a course called Marvel, right? From comics to blockbusters. Um, this course is taught by a media studies professor. And so if you are into Marvel, right? It's an examination of the whole Marvel universe straight from the comics all the way up to the blockbusters that you are probably familiar with. And then for those of you who are into um, gaming, video games, um, we also have a, a course called Unity 3D Game Design Workshop um, that takes one of, the, one of the popular and one of the mainstream um, uh, game design uh, uh, and takes it and, and, and teaches you how to, how to um, at least get started right on the Unity engine. Um, and so this course is taught by our um, uh, by a computer science faculty member. And so this is just a, a really, really small sample of the different kinds of on campus courses, right, that you um, that you would that you can take during GM term. And so, you know, if you are interested in, in any of these or something else, odds are you'll find a course on campus that is right for you. Next up is our travel GN term. And so being the director of international programs, you can probably tell that I'm most excited about this. 
Um, so our travel G-Term, um, these are both domestic and international travel courses. Um, and so they vary um, from, year, from year to year, depending on, again, um, faculty interest and expertise. Um, and these travel G interns are open to sophomores um, and above, right? And so as freshmen, we want you to be familiar with campus. We, we encourage you to take those, um, those, those on-campus G intern courses so that by the time you are a sophomore, you are ready to go on these travel G interns. Um, some of them um, and are specific to language immersion. And so if you are a student um, who wants to um, to really improve on a language. Sometimes there are travel courses related to that language immersion. But most of them really, much like our on-campus student term courses, they are inclusive of any, an, any student, right, who's interested in the subject. Um, and so these, uh, because they are travel, right, they do have an extra cost, but what's great is that there are scholarships available to help fund those courses. Um, the, so there are two types of scholarships. The first one is the Stevens Scholarship, and that pays for 90% of the course cost. And really, this is, this is meant so that every student has equal opportunity to travel at least once while you are at AC. And so we really push for that scholarship. And of course, we have general scholarships as well that also get, help, fund, um, help fund these travel gene terms. And so just to give you a couple of, uh, couple of examples of what these courses can look like, um, the first one is the Coffee and Cafe Culture in Vienna and Paris. And so you can already probably tell this is a course that's, that really takes you to both Vienna and Paris to study coffee, right? How is coffee made, right? How is coffee um, consumed, right? And how is coffee treated, right? In, in regular everyday life in both Vienna and Paris and the same with cafe culture, right? And so you get a, a good um, comparison of the two between Vienna and Paris. Um, and of course, this is a very popular course. Um, this course is taught by, uh, co-taught by a German and a French faculty member. Um, the next one is the power of, yo of nature, yoga, and art to heal us. And so if you are a type of person who is very outdoorsy, you like doing yoga, or you, you've always wanted to try yoga, um, and you like hiking and, and those kinds of outdoor activities, this is a great um, option for you. This is a course that is taught by our psychology, by a psychology professor, um, and this takes place in Costa Rica. The next one is experiencing Japanese culture. So for those of you who have maybe always wanted to go to Japan um, and just want to experience as a whole, what is Japanese culture like? Um, this is taught by one of our East Asian Studies faculty members. Um, he takes you all around, of course, the, the the popular um, attractions, right, in Japan, but also um, if you have always wanted to learn or dabble into Japanese language, um, there is an opportunity for you to learn Japanese language while you're on this course. And in fact, um, they also do a homestay. And so each student is partnered with a local family. And so you get to understand, you get to experience what it's like to live in Japan um, for the month of January. The next one is health education and culture in Ghana. Um, and so if you are a public health a student, or if you've always just wanted to go to Ghana, right? If you've always wanted to, um, or if you if you are just interested, right? What is health education like? What is culture like in Ghana? Um, this one is taught by a public health faculty member, um, and so that course is also an option for you. Um, and the last one is Scotland castles, crosses, kilts, and tights. Um, and so this one is taught by a music professor, actually. Um, but this particular course takes you to all of the castles, if, if 
most if not all of the castles in Scotland um, and takes you on a history, right? Takes you on a tour of these different castles. Um, and so actually this picture right here um, is a picture from that, from the, from the Scotland course. Um, and so students, um, you know, are able to really get up, up close and personal with these castles. Um, and then this one over here is one of, uh, is from the Power of Nature, Yoga and Art um, course. And so obviously there are a bunch of other different travel courses that you can go to, but hopefully this gives you a good idea of what those courses can look like. And then the last part, right, the last kind of chant term um, is a career study off campus, right, or as we call it here, CSOCs. And um, what exactly does that mean, right? It's an opportunity, right, again, for you to apply what you learn in the classroom um, to an actual workplace. Um, and so um, you take, um, and so you're guided by our career services office. And what you do is you select um, you select a, a, a you select a job, right? You select um, a company that you want to maybe work for, right? Or maybe it's a field, it's an industry that you've always wanted to to try, um, see if if see what it's like, right? And so you take that, you apply. Um, you, you find a supervisor, right, at that industry or at that company. Um, you set your own learning goals, right, through uh, your faculty. You have a faculty sponsor and a supervisor at the company that you are gonna work for. Um, and then they evaluate you, right, on, on these learning goals that you set for yourself so that you are in charge of what you want to do, right? You are in charge of what you want to accomplish um, during this time in January. And so at the end of it, hopefully, you know, through the evaluations and through your personal reflections, you find that, wow, I really learned, you know, how to improve these skills. You know, I really learned this about myself through this seesaw. And it is credit bearing, right? And so you are able to, um, to have up to six um, credits of CSOC um, throughout your entire undergraduate career. Um, and it just depends on when you do it. You can do a CSOC possibly in, within a 14 week period, you can do it in the summer, or you can do it in June term, which is what this is, this is focused on. And so just some of the sample CSOCs um, that our students have done in the past, um, you have shadowing opportunities. If you are somebody who's interested in, in health, um, if you maybe want to work in the health um, industry, um, there's shadowing opportunities for that. Um, congressional offices, um, if you're interested maybe in political science, international relations, um, children's advocacy center, maybe you are interested in education education, um, those are also available. And again, these career study off campus um, opportunities are driven by what you're interested in, right? And so if you've always wanted to work in a particular field, um, you know, the career service offices the Career Services Office really helps match you um, with the right uh, with the right company, um, with the right workplace if you don't already have one in mind, and then you go forward from there. And so these are just a couple of examples of our students. Um, this is at Texoma Dermatology, I believe. And then this one is at a congressional office. And so again, you have plenty of opportunities um, to not just you know, learn in the classroom, but also outside of the classroom. All right, and so that really concludes um, the, the presentation. I can now um, take any questions that any of you may have for me. Oh, all right, let me see here. Looks like, uh, Madison, do we have any questions in the chat or I, I see that Lucien also has her hand raised. Yeah, if you want to go ahead and ask your question, Lucien, um, take yourself off mute. You can go ahead and, and just speak up and ask your question. 
Great, thank you. Um, I was just wondering, so I'm planning on entering AC as a sophomore because I have a lot of AP and dual credit credits already. Um, would I be able to do the travel, um, the travel jam term or would I still have to wait until my, what would be considered my junior year? Um, so that is actually a good question. And so really depending on what you come with, um, I know that you said that you would transfer in as a sophomore. And so it's definitely a conversation that you can have with your mentor as to whether or not, um, you know, this is a, a travel chain term is right for you. But we always take into consideration, especially for our transfer students, um, whether or, you know, what you're coming in as. Okay, thank you so much. You're welcome. So we had another question during registration um, and you kind of went over this already, but maybe just a reiteration. Uh, no does the JAN term that you have to, or that you take have to align with your major? All right, awesome. So no, that you do not have to take a course that correlates with your major. Of course, you are free to do so if you want to kind of really immerse yourself in another in another course um, within your major, you are free to do that. But we do encourage you to take something that's outside of your major, um, just because it doesn't mean, um, just because it's not directly correlated to your major, it doesn't mean you're not going to be able to apply it to the skills that you'll need in your major, right? And so that's something that we always encourage our students to do. Um, but just to directly answer your question, no, you do not have to take a course that correlates to your major. Awesome. I like that question a lot. Um, because, you know, like she said, that's what Jan is all about, kind of stepping outside your comfort zone a little bit. So um, okay, if we don't have any more questions or oh. if you have any questions to submit in the chat, go ahead. But um, looks like we can go ahead and wrap up um, if, if no one else has any questions. Thank you, Cheryl, so much for going over this awesome information. Jan term is a really exciting time and you guys um, just get excited for your future because this is a vibrant, um, exciting time during your entire um, educational path here. So it's super unique to Austin College, like she said. So be sure to reach out to us if you do have more questions that come up after today or um, our Jan term webpage on our website is stock full of pictures and videos and things like that too. So check that out. But um, if there's no more questions, we can go ahead and wrap up. Thank you, Cheryl. All right. Thanks, everybody.